Hello friends, welcome back to automation testing .com. This is Selenium WebDriver part 66 and today I'll show you how to write data into Excel file using uh, uh, Apache PUI library. Okay, so uh, last time we have seen how to read data from Excel file. Okay, and uh, today I'll show you how to write data into Excel file. So regarding the previous session already I have created a post. Okay, so you can go through that. So if you navigate to my blog that is automation testing and uh, we have a tab called selenium tutorial just click on that and here you'll find all the topics related to selenium i have segregated them into different parts or uh, different headings okay so here you can see selenium basics html dom and locators so similarly we have web driver commands and controls so if you just scroll down here you'll find read excel file in selenium using apache pui this is under form data driven framework okay so just click on that so here you'll see the complete notes on uh, what we have discussed in the last video and we have a uh, source code as well okay, so you can just go through it and uh, you can practice what we have discussed so far in the previous session okay now let's come back to this topic so my eclipse is already opened here so last time we have created a project called read excel okay so i'll use the same project okay i will not create any other uh, project so what i'll do last time we have created this package and uh, inside that we have couple of classes and we have test package as well com dot test cases now i'll create one one more package over here inside src in java so what I'll do, I'll create right click new and we have package over here. So I'll give name com dot write excel. Click on finish and inside that I'll create a class. Click on finish and uh, last time we have created uh, excel file inside this folder where is that folder test data what is that folder uh, a file name test data so if you open that so la last time we uh, used this excel sheet to read the data first name and last name now let's say uh, we have one scenario where we need to write uh, the third column okay we want to write some values over here so how to write the values okay so we'll see uh, the scenario so let's say in the third column we are going to write a gender okay so because we have first name last name let uh, i mean take an example this is gender column so we'll write male female something like that okay so let's do that so this is my program here i'll uh, i mean this is my class and here i'll create one method write excel and inside the, this method what I'll do and uh, we need to ultimately we need to first uh, I would say we need to read this right this excel file because already we have existing excel file so we need to read that excel file and let's take some parameters over here string sheet name and uh, a row and column column number okay and uh, mm, we'll take one more parameter cell value which we are going to set so we have four parameters in this method okay uh, the sheet name where we are going to write our uh, uh, data okay and we have cell value what is the value we are going to set and we have row number and column number which i have given uh, accordingly like uh, row and column in integer and uh, sheet name and cell value uh, string type okay now let's have uh, excel excel path where is our excel path okay and simply right click here 
and this is our excel path so i'll take copy the complete excel path and put it over here so this is my excel path and what i'll do i'll create the object of file class okay right i mean uh, last time we did the same and uh, i'll give file new file and i'll provide the excel path over here like this you can do right and uh, to read the excel file what we need to do we need a file we need to we need to create the object of file input stream so simply create the object of file input stream fis you can give object name and new file input stream and we'll provide the file over here this is our file right and uh, what is next now we need to create the object of xssf since we have this xls x uh, uh, excel sheet right so we need to create the object of xssf workbook okay so we'll create the object of xssf workbook What? Yeah, it is coming now, and we'll pass our uh, file input stream object over here. Fine. Now let me add throws declaration. So I'll give the the super class exception. So error is gone now. Now what I'm going to do? So now we need to create the object of X S S F uh, sheet. To read the Excel sheet, uh, the particular sheet. Okay, so uh, I'll give uh, object as sheet, and here what I'll do? We have object workbook object dot get sheet. Right? We need to get particular sheet first of all, and here I'll provide sheet name. So uh, we can get the sheet name from parameter which we are going to pass. So this is how we can do. Now what I am going to do, we want to set the values. Okay, we want to set the this particular value which we can get from parameter which will get from parameter. Okay, so how to set the value? Sheet dot get row method will be there. Get row and row from where will get will get the row from parameter okay, which will pass and we have method called create cell so this will create the particular cell which we are where we are going to write the write our data and here we'll provide column number and then uh, set cell value set cell value is there and uh, have, we have to take like this we have method set cell value to set the value we have particular method set cell value and here we'll provide the this cell value sounds good so all done now uh, this part to read the excel file and uh, yeah to get the excel sheet okay now here to set the value now we need to write the data into it okay so for that we have file output stream okay file output stream so if you mouse over let me show you once fos will create the object of file output stream and we have file output stream like this and here uh, we need to provide the path of the excel file which we have here because ultimately I mean we need excel file over here so that's why we have created the object of internally 
file class okay so this is how you can provide and if you mouse over this file output stream what what it does is a file output stream is an output stream for writing data to a file so that's why i have created the object of file output xsf workbook object that is wb and will write uh, content using this write method in the excel sheet okay uh, the write method from let me just we have write method and here we need to provide output stream so what is our output stream fos so this is how you can do and this will write uh, into excel file okay and sim simply you have to just close the object and we have fos dot close so just close both the objects so this is simple library to write data into excel file so what we have done we have created a class write excel and inside that we have method write excel we have four parameters sheet name cell value and row and column and this is excel path which already we have which i have given over here and we have created the object of file class and then input stream to read the excel file and later on we have created the object of xssf workbook workbook to read the uh, uh, xls x uh, file format excel file format okay and we have this sheet object xssf and at later on we have uh, create cell and set cell value to set particular value into excel file and later on to write the data into excel file we have created the object of file output stream and then using write method we write the data into excel file okay. and at last we are closing both the objects now what i'll do i'll create test case in this test folder yeah so simply i'll create one test class over here write excel test click on finish so what i'll do i need to create the object of from uh, of this class so that i can call this method okay so simply i'll create the object first obj is equal to new like this and inside that i will create method write excel test like this and uh, we need to just import this from uh, com.write excel our package okay. so package is imported and uh, we have created method called write excel test i'll give test annotation so that we can run our test case through test ng and simply i'll use this object and call what is our method write excel so we need to just provide the sheet name we have sheet name test let me open and uh, suppose i want to write over here so this is zero row and zero one two second column okay so cell value what i am passing let's say mail and this is zero row and column is second column and this will throws exception okay so this is done so let me just run it hope everything is fine yeah so let me just run it run as test ng test so here you can see our test case executed successfully let me close this excel sheet first and i'll refresh the project refresh it and open this excel sheet again so here you can see uh, the value is entered successfully written over here in this excel sheet okay mail now i want to write uh, next to that right below that so i'll create one more test case and I'll provide test case one, and uh, uh, this second column will be there. And I want to write now first row. This is zero row, and I want to write now first row. 
so this is how you can write and instead of mail I'll write female okay so let me return it again so test both the test cases got passed here you can see write excel test write excel test 1 simply refresh your project and just open this excel sheet so here you can see male and female so this is how you can write data into excel sheet and uh, i'll provide this uh, simple code the simple code uh, simple library to write data into excel sheet okay and guys uh, i'll uh, yeah i'll provide the complete code and notes in this uh, i mean in my blog okay and in the next video which is very important we'll talk about different libraries okay so what are those different libraries so let's have a look so we'll talk about complete excel library in the next video where we'll get uh, i mean i'll talk about different libraries like how to get total row count how to read the value uh, from excel sheet how to set the value into excel sheet so so far we have covered these three like in, in the previous video we talked about like how to get the row count and how to read the value from excel sheet now today we have seen that how to set the value into the excel sheet okay and but there are some other uh, libraries as well so i'll show you all these library into one uh, one class okay so we'll have separate methods related to all these uh, uh, i would say uh, queries okay into one excel uh, one java class so simply what we need to do is we need to just call these methods okay we have different methods so we, we need to just call the methods and get the desired result so similarly we have how to add a new sheet in excel sheet how to remove a uh, existing excel sheet how to add column how to remove column uh, and we have how to check if the particular excel sheet is exist or not and we have how to get column count and how to get cell row number so these are the different uh, uh, functionality we are going to see in the next video these are the different libraries okay in one java class i'll show you in the next video so thank you guys for watching have a nice day and if you are new to my channel then please subscribe it thanks a lot bye bye